All right, class, uh, welcome back. We're now on section 3.3, .3, which is all about adding and subtracting decimals. So uh, write your name in the corner and today's date. Okay, <clears throat> so our first uh, example here, the Hunger Games Mockingjay just set a box office record uh, for uh, opening five days in November. The earnings are shown over here on the side table. So uh, the first thing we want to do is we're going to estimate the total box office earnings. Now uh, our estimation basically it's just a ballpark. It's going to get us close to the real answer and it just gives us an idea uh, when we find the, the, the total correct answer how close we actually are. Okay, so the first thing I want to make you aware of is when we, um, when we estimate we're going to do something called rounding uh, rounding off. So we've got some tips over here on how to round numbers off. Uh, basically what you want to do is find the place that you want to round to and look at the digit to the right of that. Uh, if you see a zero or a four, uh, zero, anywhere from zero to four, you're going to round that down. And if it's anywhere from five to nine, you want to round it up. Okay, so this will make more sense when you do an example. So let's look at the Friday earnings. So the Friday earnings are $70.95 million. Let's say I want to round that off to this place right here, that, that zero or that ones column, to the nearest million dollars. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to look next to that and I see that I've got a nine. So uh, if I have anywhere from a five to a nine, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to round up. And so what this means is basically 70.95 is basically 71. So I go to this column, I round up because the next number over is a nine. So we can do that for each of our values here. Let's take uh, 52.6. 52.6, I want to round to this nearest million. And if I see a uh, 0.6, then that must mean that I round up. So that would be 53, round up to the next number. Moving on, we've got uh, 34.53 million dollars. If I want to round off to this place right here, we can see again 34.5, the next number is a 5. Anywhere from 5 to 9 means I round up. So I'm going to round up to 35. Our next digit, uh, next number there is 12.3 million. So 12.3, I want to round to this place right here. The next digit beside the, the 2 is a 3. And anywhere from 0 to 4 means you round down. So I'm going to keep that at 12 million. And then the last one there, we got 15, 15.9 million. And since the next digit over is a nine, then I'm gonna round that up to $16 million. Okay, so now we wanna find, we wanna do an estimate of our, our total earnings. And so here's my rounded off numbers. And I'm just gonna use those to find my estimate. And I'm just gonna add those all up. So I've got 71 plus 53 plus 35, plus 12, plus 16. And I add these all together. And to do that, I just go down my ones column. So one plus three is four, plus five is nine, plus two is 11, plus six is 17. Carry the one here. And then one plus seven is eight, plus five is 13, plus three is 16, plus one is 17, plus another one is 18. So my, uh, my final uh, estimate is it's somewhere around $187 million for the weekend. And that's my estimate. Now whenever we do, uh, whenever we do adding or subtracting, or you will see later multiplying and dividing, we're always, always, always going to estimate the answer first. And it's really important we do that because estimating lets us know if we're anywhere near the right answer. And it's pretty easy to do. It only takes a couple of seconds. Okay, so next we want to determine the exact box office earnings. So if we're going to find the exact number, then we need to go back here and we're going to use all of these digits that we saw here in the original. So 70.95 plus 52.6 plus 34.53 plus 12.3 plus 15.9. There's my total. Now, when it comes to addition and subtraction, same thing, same rule applies. You'll notice that what I've done here is I've lined up, I've lined up my decimals here 
all in a line, well, pretty much in a line. And you can see that all of our um, all of our digits line up. So our ones column is all in a line, our tens column is all in a line, our tenths column, and so on. And once we've done that, then we can just go ahead and add down the line. So if I start adding down here, so five, and then I hit a blank spot, you just need to remember that wherever you see a blank here at the end of the number, that's basically just a zero. So you can fill in zeros here and it doesn't change a thing. Okay, so now we'll add down. So five plus zero plus three is eight, and then zero is all the way down, so that's an eight. And then I've got nine plus six is 15, plus five is 20, plus three is 23, plus nine is 32. Put a three over. So three plus zero is three, plus two is five, plus nine, uh, plus four is nine, plus two is 11, plus five is 16 carry a 1, 1 plus 7 is 8, plus 5 is uh, 13, plus 3 is 16, plus 1 is 17, plus another one is 18, and I get 187. Now you'll know that, uh, sorry, 186. Now you'll notice that my decimal was right here, and so that's where my decimal goes. And my final answer is 186.28 million dollars. Okay, not so bad. All right, last example here. It says, how much more money did the movie make on Friday than it did on Saturday? So how much, how much more? How much more is really a question of difference. And if it's a difference, then we're talking about subtraction. So how much more did it make on Friday than on Saturday? We're looking for the difference between these two numbers. And so that's going to be a subtraction. So 70.95. And I want to subtract from that 52. Point six. You'll notice that when I do a subtraction, same as before, addition and subtraction is the same deal. You just line up your decimal points, line up your ones and your tens column, and, and keep everything nice and neat. Okay. Anywhere you see a, a blank here at the end of your number, you can just pretend that that's a zero because it is. And then you just go ahead and do your subtraction just like you normally would. So five minus zero is five. Nine minus six is three. And then there's my decimal. And then 0 minus 2, I'm going to have to borrow 1 for my 7 here, so I'm going to pretend that's a 6. And borrow 1, so 10 minus 2 is 8, and then 6 minus 5 is 1. So it looks like it earned $18.35 million more on opening night than the following night. Okay. Last thing you need to do, we're just gonna do some quick practice here, which is around estimating. Now, it's really, really important that you get used to this estimating because you're gonna to have to do it every time you do it. Like I said, addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, doesn't matter. So, let's do this. Let's do some quick examples. Um, round them off and then add them up or subtract them. Okay, so let's look at this. Okay, so let's look at this. 13.7. Uh, we're gonna to round to the ones column. So, the next digit there, next to the three is a seven. And that means we'll round up. So this would round up to 14. Plus 9.15. Uh, we're going to round to this column right here. The next digit over is a 1. And 1 means we round down. So we're going to keep that at 9. And 14 plus 9 is approximately 23. Okay. Uh, the next one here, 14.63. Uh, 14, I'm going to round off to this 1's column. The next digit over is a 6. So a 6 means I round up. So I round up to 15. And then I'm going to add that to 122.1. 122.1, well, the point 0.1 means I round down, and so that's going to be 122. Now, if you can't do that in your head, then you just line everything up like you've been taught previously. 122 plus 15, and we have a 7, and a 3, and a 1. So our answer is 137. Same thing for subtractions. Okay, 48.3. Uh, I'm going to round off to this 8. And so since it's next to a 0.3, that just stays at 48. And I'm going to subtract 12.59. The next digit's a 5, which means I round up to 13. And I know that 48 minus 13 is equal to 35. And the last one here, uh, 263.94. The next digit next to this 1's column is a 9, so I round up to 264. And I'm going to subtract from that 32.87. So the next digit's an 8, which means I round up to 33. And see if you can't do that in your head, same thing, 264 minus 33, just line it up like you've been taught previously, 4 minus 3 is 1, 6 minus 3 is 3, 2 minus nothing is 2, and there's your answer.
Okay, that's it for uh, 3.3. Don't forget to do the recap.